solving exponential equations. We're going to look at two methods. The first method is to get a common base and then set the exponents equal to each other and solve. So if you can easily see how to get a common base between 2 and 8, uh, then you will go this route. Well, we could rewrite 8 as 2 to the third, and that would give us a common base of 2. Once you have the bases equal, then you can drop the base and just set the exponents equal to each other and solve. So we're going to add a 1 to both sides. x equals 4. For this next problem, we can also solve with rewriting the base as 3. So we have 3 to the x plus 5 equals 3 to the third. Now your bases are the same. So you can set the exponents equal to each other. So x plus 5 equals 3 gives us a nice linear equation. Subtract 5 from both sides. So x equals negative 2. For the next problem we have to be just a little bit more creative because we're not able to rewrite 128 as 8 to a power. So we'll have to check and we actually can rewrite both of those as 2 to a power. So if we rewrite 8 as 2 to the third, and then you still have your x, and 128, if you uh, play with that a little in your calculator, it is 2 to the seventh. And then back on your first piece, you want to simplify this. A power to a power, you keep the base and multiply. So this will give us 2 to the 3x. And now we have the bases the same. So we set the exponents equal to each other. And then we can solve. You're going to get a fraction on this one, but it's okay to get a fraction. So x equals 7 thirds. For our next problem, uh, there is more than one way that you can rewrite this one with the same base. Uh, let's try it first uh, by rewriting with a base of 2. So if we do 2 to the 4th, that gives us 16. So 2 to the 4th to the x. And 64 is 2 to the 6th. You would, of course, verify that on your calculator. And so we can go ahead, and this is 4x equals 2 to the 6. Now set your exponents equal. So 4x equals 6. Divide by 4. And you should just reduce. You have a common factor of 2 here. 2 will go into 6 3 times. 2 will go into 4 two times. And remember you can also do that on your calculator and just go back to a fraction. Uh, I'm going to take a minute on this one and show you if you went with a base of 4, right? so 4 squared is 16, so that would be 4 squared to the x, and 4 to the third is 64, and this would give us 4 to the 2x. And then you're able to set your exponents equal to each other. And notice that you get the same answer. So it doesn't matter. As long as uh, the bases work out for both of them, uh, you could have used either. For our next problem, we have something in a denominator. Remember what kind of exponent makes something move to the denominator? How about a negative exponent? So if we have um, 5 to a negative 3, that would get the 125 to the denominator. So we have 5 to the 
x minus 1 equals 5 to the negative 3. The bases are the same. Set the exponents equal to each other. And solve. So we'll add 1 to both sides. And adding 1 would give us negative 2. Our next problem is working with e as a base, and that's fine to do. Um, again, on the right-hand side, we have the e in the denominator. So if we try e to the negative 1, that would give us 1 over e. So we're going to be able to do this. So we have e to the x plus 5 equals e to the negative 1. Bases are the same. Set the exponents equal. So x plus 5 equals negative 1. Subtract 5. x equals negative 6. For this problem, remember when you have a square root, that is the same as something to the 1 half power. So we will write that piece that way. So our first piece will just keep 8 to the x minus 9 over 2 equals 8 to the 1 half. Bases are equal, so set the exponents equal. So x minus 9 over 2 equals 1 over 2. You can either solve this as proportion or you can multiply through by the common denominator. I think I will just multiply through by the common denominator, which is a 2. And it's going to cancel those fractions out. So I have x minus 9 equals 1. Add your 9 to both sides. x equals 10. For our next problem, if we try to write 2 and 27 uh, with the same base, um, we're stuck. You cannot write 27 in terms of 2 to a power. So we're going to need a different method. For our next method, we will take a natural log of both sides. This will allow you to bring the exponent down, and this method will always work. So we're going to take a natural log on both sides. Right, and now you'll use your power property here of logarithms, which is going to bring this down. So you have x minus 4 times the ln of 2. But the ln of 2 is just a number. So divide it out. So you have x minus 4 equals, leave this like it is for the moment. So the ln of 27 over the ln of 2. And add your 4. So x equals ln of 27 over ln of 2 plus 4. My math lab will ask you for two answers. First, it will ask you to answer in terms of natural logs, which means you would leave it here in this form. And then they're asking for the answer to be rounded to two decimal places. So we'll put that into our calculator. So we'll have the ln of 27. Make sure that you close your parentheses there. Divided by the ln of 2, close parentheses, plus 4, enter. And so we have 8.754 to two decimal places would be out to the 5 position. You look 1 to the right. And 4 is not enough, so you're going to drop it off, and we'll have 8.75. It's important to only have one term on each side before you take the logarithm. So we need to take this 4 off. So we're going to add a 4 to the other side. So we have e to the 2x minus 5 equals 24,000. 494. Now I would like this exponent to come down, so I'll take the natural log of both sides.
and then I'm able to bring my exponent down. So I have 2x minus 5 times the ln of e equals the ln of 24 for 94. The ln of e, remember, is 1, so you don't need that. So we have 2x minus 5 equals the natural log of 24 for 94. We're going to add 5. So 2x will equal, and you're adding it to the end, not into this piece, because this is the logarithm of this piece. So plus 5. And then we will divide by 2. So x will equal this expression. That is in terms of natural logs. And then we will put that in our calculator. So I'm going to use parentheses on my numerator. So I'm going to take a natural log of 2, 4, 4, 9, 4. Remember to close that parentheses. Plus 5 close the parentheses for the numerator and now I'm going to divide by 2 enter so I 7.553 to two decimal places 5 is in the second place uh, 3 is not high enough so it's going to drop off and we'll put 7.55 this next problem in my opinion is the hardest kind of the exponential equations and it has an exponent on both of your sides. So we will go ahead and take a natural log of both sides. It's going to take a natural log of 2 to the 2x plus 3 equals the natural log of 6 to the x plus 1. That will bring our exponents down. So 2x plus 3 times the ln of 2. And over here we will have x plus 1 times the ln of 6. Now, we want to solve for x. So we the problem is we have x on both sides. So we need to get x just on one side. And we're actually going to have to distribute these logarithms before we can do that. So we'll distribute. On our left-hand side, we have 2x ln of 2 plus 3 ln of 2. Over here, we have um, x times the ln of 6 plus the ln of 6. Now, I'm going to move the x terms on one side and the plain logarithms on the other side because these are just numbers. So I'm going to subtract the x ln of 6. So keep my first term because it has an x. Subtract x natural log of 6. Right? And keep my ln of 6. And I'm going to subtract 3 ln of 2. Now, on the left-hand side, I'm going to use a trick because I'm trying to isolate the x. I can use a factoring trick and take an x out of both of these. It's a GCF. That will leave me 2 ln of 2 minus ln of 6 equals this side. And now to isolate my x, I just need to divide out this big chunk. It's just some number. So I can divide by that on both sides. And that's the first answer they're going to want. in terms of natural logs and then we'll put it in a calculator in a minute. 
Right. So I want to make sure that I use parentheses around my numerator and parentheses around my denominator. Uh, so I've turned on, so I have parentheses, uh, natural log of 6. You have to close for that logarithm, minus 3, natural log of 2. Close for that logarithm, close for the numerator. Divided by, parentheses starts the denominator, 2, natural log of 2. Close for the logarithm, minus natural log of 6. Close for the logarithm, close for the denominator, enter. So point seven zero nine five, and if they said to two places, this one is going to round up. The, not, the 9 is going to push your 0 up to a 1, so point seven one.